Hi guys, it's been such a long time, but it feels good to just to just do this. Um, so today I'm going to talk about uh, a skincare range by the name Ava Estelle. I'm not sure if it's Ava Estelle or Ava Estelle, but I am sorry if I've gotten the name or the pronunciation wrong. But it is this brand, and you might have seen them on Instagram. They are uh, a black owned company that specializes in skincare to treat you know skin that, ha that might have um problems like eczema acne just all a variety of skin problems their ingredients are natural ingredients um, and one of the main notes within their uh, ingredients are i believe sweet orange because if you were to use the product and you smelt it, it's got a strong smell of sweet orange. Now, I'm not somebody who's bothered by smell, but I did notice that with this brand, they have a very strong smell or love for sweet orange. So, some of the ingredients you might find in the product, for example, in the micellar water, would be, um, I'm just going to, oh, it's got a fluff on there. Um, you can see it will have things like, oh, sorry, wrong so yeah it's got stuff like lemon essential oil cucumber extract lactic acid but this will be in the micellar water um, and you just have to shake it up and use and then you've got the foam wash which again has a very strong smell of orange <laughs> um, and it's got slightly less ingredients So it's got aloe vera, cucumber extract, sweet orange, sweet, sweet orange extract, uh, preservatives, and I can't pronounce it, dye something glucoside. So that is for the face wash and face um, micellar water. Then you have the night cream, um, which is in this brown bottle, um, and you're meant to use it at night. It says a light, a lightweight face cream that will keep your face moisturized and help clear up any blemishes, scars and marks. So, um, these other ingredients in this one, as you can see, um, you can pause and just have a look at the video. So, um, again, it's got things like uh, a lactic acid in here, it's got oat kernel, it's got sunflower oil, aloe vera, shea butter, argan oil, lemon peel extract. So a lot of stuff that are meant to help your skin, that you know, clear dark marks. Lemon, yeah, no, lemon, lemon, lemon. Pretty sure I thought lemon. Yeah, lemon peel extract as well. Lavender extract, uh, vitamin E, and all that good stuff. And then finally, you have the Nuka face mask, and you have the face activating scrub again natural ingredients in here i find the packaging to, to for me not very luxurious um, and a bit hard to open especially this this face mask it's very hard to open because it's honey it can get sticky and then you try to open it which i can <sighs> yeah i'm trying here to open okay i got it i got i should not be struggling with yeah okay so this is new ish because i bought the buy one get one free um and the honey has settled or turned to this texture when you first buy it though it's a bit more like honey in a jar but right now it's turned to that but it's not the easiest to open so i'm not a fan of this packaging i'm not sure what's the reason behind this packaging but it's not it's not it um and for the scrub this is it smells amazing this one slightly easier but it can be hard as well at times um yeah, I'm not a fan of packaging. It's just not very 
look serious. It cost me six to five pounds or six five ninety nine. I can't remember. And then the shipping was just over four pounds, so I paid roughly seven four pound something, just to round it up seven to five pound. What are my thoughts of the product? For me, it has to be a down. It it's a thumbs up. I'm sorry. I'm not here to bash this company, but I have never bought anything where everything every single item gave me a rash i'm not the first person to say this but you will not see this on their website because they don't allow you to, to leave feedback below four stars which i think is crafty actually you should be transparent you know you want transparency you're not meant to filter feedback because you are telling a story or you're given this narrative that it's all and well and good with your eye and your product and you can use it and you'll not get a reaction. That's a lie. There are people who would love to leave feedback that cannot leave their feedback. If you go on Trustpilot, you will see real feedback on there, okay? Um, maybe on YouTube. But a lot of the people who've complained about the face kit have all said the same thing, rashes. So why are people getting rashes when they're using your product? something isn't right now if it works for you you don't get uh, any reactions from it i'm happy your skin is more tolerable to to the to the i guess their range but for people like myself and many other people this is not working uh just to to highlight that their skincare range is not dermatologist tested okay which means that they haven't done a test for pH levels or just to see how much um, of a, a reaction somebody might get from, from this compared to uh, more other skincare ranges um, that are, you know, dermatologist tested. For example, let's look at this skincare range that I love so much. It's called Sun By Me. And look, it tells you that they have done, uh, it's dermatologist tested. Um, so you could be assured that you see this none whatever that is there non comedogenic comedogenic <laughs> I think well at least in a nutshell the the um the likelihood of you getting a reaction using this is pretty low basically whereas with this product you're not gonna get any of that. There's no guarantee that when you use this product, you're not gonna react from it. So just be aware about skincare range, range that you find on Instagram. A lot of them are not dermatologist tested. So it could be, if they were to do one, it could be really high on the chart because there's a chart you can see if it's one, two, three, four, five, six, then the color range, range starts to change. Then you start to see that, oh, this is on the high part of it's gonna break me out or give me a rash so just bear that in mind um you can't fight them about it because they haven't claimed that it is so just bear that in mind um listen the the scrub gave me a rash it gave me a rash that lasted two months it was a rash there and a rash there the rashes are not big rashes they're like tiny and they come in clusters like a cluster of three a cluster of three a cluster of four three there, there, there. The worst thing that broke me out, out out of all of them was the micellar water. This one breaks. Oh, oh my god, it gives me a rash. The foam as well it gives me a rash. And also, when you get the packaging, your, your delivery, it doesn't even come with um, a leaflet to tell you how to use the product. So you have to scour their website to find how to use it. And even then, it's a bit like. Mm, you know, I would appreciate if I'm spending £75, I would expect a leaflet to be there to tell me this is how you use it and how often you have to use it for. There's nothing that's really poor. I'm sorry. You know, we talk about supporting your black businesses. And then when you do buy from black business, you get this, you get poor packaging because I'm fighting to open, <laughs> you know, my, my product. You get a package that doesn't come with it, just you know, uh, instructions of how to use it. You have every single item on there gives me a rash. 
and then you're not even allowed to leave feedback on their site it's awful so i'm not a fan um of this this all the ones that i showed you guys every single one of them okay they're all brand new i'm more than happy to post this to anybody who wants these free of charge um of course if you do want this let me know and i will select somebody from um the, the comment section to get this it might work for you you know and just to point out when i got the two for one it came with one brush the brush is meant to be used on the um the nuka honey mask thing it came with one brush this is a buy one get one free it came, it came with one brush and the brush was dirty and i had to wash it i'm still like okay so when i give this, this to somebody as a gift they have no brush to use i can't give them my brush so it's a bit underwhelming i feel really awful because i've spent nearly 80 pound on a skincare range and none of them work for me not the cream not the scrub the scrub is smells delicious it smells edible but it's, i have i have a better scrub basically my murad uh, triple exfoliating scrub it's expensive but it's worth the money it's about 50 or 60 pound but guys it is worth the money it, it just try it out you know so i have stuff that that does the job and i wish i never bought this because my korean skincare this brand this brand right here get the set if you have troubled skin get the set use this morning and night it comes with a toner okay it comes with a toner as well and it comes with a face wash it also comes with a, a serum use the set morning and night you can buy it on ebay I'm, t I'm telling you your skin is gonna you know the reason i bought this brand is because i like to try new things i even bought a new brand for, from from um from instagram it's not well known you know but this stuff is really nice like this stuff is really luxurious it smells great this is really cool to this packaging this is really good it's like a rose oil and it comes with uh, an oil cleanser as well man this is luxury packaging this is what i say yeah this is good you know um and it comes with uh, a toner as well this is so good but i'll talk about that in another video but for this video it's about the other still other still and how it's just not been a thumbs up for me it's been a thumbs down and yeah sometimes you try you try things out and they don't work for you and that's fine you just don't go back again um would i recommend anyone using this because it hasn't worked for me no but you might have a better chance than i have using their products but please do your research look at the ingredients there could be one or two things in there that your skin does not agree to look at reviews just from what i've learned now don't look at their website or any website that has just four or five star reviews if that is all you're seeing I would advise you to look elsewhere because they're most likely they are fishing on the pig hidden just good reviews trying just typing their name on trust pilot uh google reviews or trust pilot reviews or even is it reddit reviews yeah try that as well or, or go on youtube you might find genuine uh reviews on there so that is my tip on the product but <sighs> i'm not here to bash the brand this specific kit is not it thanks for everyone who's watched i hope it helped somebody um and i will see you next time